Okay, so I'm going to be showing you guys um, just my best guess at the most popular current build right now for Terran players. Uh, this is going to be my guess at the three racks build. I've sort of stopped playing Terran a little bit, Go ahead. so it might not be a perfect build order, but it's a pretty simple idea. You go with three barracks, one with the reactor core, because that allows you to get out a lot of units. And then from there, you can get a factory, you can get starports, you can get your um, engineering bay. So the general idea is just sort of, you know, being very efficient to getting out those first three reactors, getting units out of them, and then teching up right after that. I do believe that with the three racks build, you don't get any tech such as your factory until you're completed. Until you're in the rear oh, with the gear. SCB ready. And, oh yeah, until all your barracks are done, I do believe. So we'll do. I do believe. So that's how I'm gonna play it. Is based on that ready. Um, idea. Not enough minerals. That idea that you know you just want to get three racks right away. So as you can see, Terran. Uh, pretty SCB much, oh, unless you're doing some weird build, Additional all build orders say required. supply depot drop ah, at you scare me. And of course, as soon as you have the minerals at 10, you're and then your off. barracks is dropped to 12, and your refinery is dropped to 13. SCB that's ready. that's that's not going to change. The only reason why that's going to change Bad is news. either if you're going something that's very mineral heavy of a build, or if not you're going um, some sort of cheese build or you're doing something weird like you know fast gas into fat uh, <laughs> star ports and tech you know so but unless you're doing something weird that's the general message I want to get across this is going to be very standard with 12 13 and that's pretty much never gonna change so of course gas is done let's transfer everybody let's start a marine right away and Put down that extra supply depot, and of course, ooh, I built one. Oh no, I didn't build too many. Oh, maybe I did. Either way, orbital command comes out 16 supply, not 17. And we have to put this tech lab add-on down, Gateway. and then now Coming you're going to be able to place the second barracks. Not enough. So the minerals. second barracks is going to go down. You're going to yeah, throw it and get your orbital command down. You're gonna throw down your other supply depot and your barracks at about the same time, and that's gonna blow okay. your orbital <laughs> building. And of course, as soon as your orbital command finishes, you are going to be. What's going on? And of course, you can put out some more marines or a marauder. Um, marines, if you want to get your barracks out a little bit faster. In the end, though, just the difference ready. of building one marine here, or one marauder here, not gonna be game changing. And this other barracks wants to go down yep. at 20. Oops, I could have already thrown it down. So this barracks ready. and the supply depot went down at about 7, 16, uh, or whenever your orbital command was morphing. This one went down at around 20. You're going to throw down a tech lab on, on the, I think you throw a tech lab on the first two, we and then you're going to throw the third one. I could be wrong, um, but I do believe that's how it's done. Of course, getting your next gas. And now also you can afford your factory. Ready. So I'm not sure if this is exactly when you throw down the factory or not. Um, I'm going to throw it down now. Complete. I do like to throw down my, uh, my tech buildings a little early on. I like to be aggressive with that. Of course, remembering to use your energy and still producing. And of course, getting supply blocks because that is what almost all players do. Bad news. I even pros do it once in a while. So this is a great time to build the reactor core because we can't really do anything else until we're not supply blocked. And I'm going to queue up another supply depot as well since I can't do anything since I'm supply blocked. But the great thing is I can research my stim now or can custom shells. I'll get those first just because they're cheaper and I find them a lot more useful. Because stim is better for when you're making aggressive pushes. So, you know, stim won't be as useful right now. Uh, let's queue up these marauders. There we go. Supply depot finished anyways. And notice how quickly you can use up that supply. And basically that was your three racks build. Um, what you can know is you got your factory. You can go to your starport to get medevacs. You can get your engineering bay and start getting upgrades. Um, of course, I wouldn't quite fast expand yet. Well, that would, it would be a fast expand if you expand it right now. 
so you know I would just wait until sort of you get around that eight minute, eight minute fifty mark to consider expanding. Oh, and I didn't transfer anyone to my second gas. That's why my build order screwed up. So if you had your second gas at this point, you'd have lots of gas. You'd be able to research that stem back. You'd be able to throw down the star report. If you'd gotten this uh, tech add-on, you probably would have been able to throw out seeds tanks too. Now, the thing to know with this three rocks build is it's really a marine marauder type build. Uh, MMM, Marine Marauder Medivac, and of course throwing Go seeds tanks in there is almost always a good thing. Um, it just makes orders. your army so powerful against any ground army to have some well placed siege tanks, especially once you get siege mode out. And the really important thing to notice, or the really important thing to think about, is um, whatever. The really important What's thing to think on? about is with this starport. Insufficient SP uh, pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyways, with this starport, think about if you're gonna put a reactor or a tech add-on, think about the fight. If you're just doing MMM and the only thing you're doing is the modern medevac, and you're not getting anything other than medevacs out of here, don't get any add-ons. Um, if you plan on building like 30 medevacs for some weird reason, because your your game plan involves a ton of medevacs, you'll okay, maybe get that reactor. Or if you want to build a lot of Vikings, get that reactor. And of course, the tech add-on. Only get that really if you're going after like ravens and other stuff, and really justify it. Otherwise, hold off until you're a lot later in the game to get it. That's basically what I'm going to say, because you do have these sense that you can always use early in the game. You don't have to have a raven always to see cloaked units. So, just once again, little things with your build order about tweaking them. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully that taught you guys uh, this build order well enough. Of course, modify it, tweak it if you see that. Um, there's room for improvement, you know, post some comments too. Let everybody else know that, you know, I'm not perfect that Research that complete. That my supply ah, my supply job. That my build order is not perfect, of course. Uh, it's funny how fast you use up supply. I had to use two supply jobs to get just to get the meta back to going. But yeah, I digress, I get distracted, so um there you go. The reason why this build is quite powerful is just because Marine Marauder is very strong, especially early in the game. Uh, very late in the game, they can become very weak, but, you know, for the first 10-15 minutes, they can be extremely powerful. And it's like having four barracks by building this reactor, and it takes more time to get the reactor out than building another barracks and just building Marines out of four, but it saves you minerals in the long run, and it allows you to tech up just a little bit better. So that's sort of the... Ready for dust off. Advantage, you know, so to say, of three rockets uh, earlier versus sort of, you know, four bears or whatever, you know. So, been waiting on you. Um, I really can't say too much else. As I said, you know, um, unless you're doing a different weird build, it's very standard to go 12 for that. No matter what build you're doing, almost always you'll go 10 supply, 12 bears. 13 refinery, you know, those. that's just sort of the staple Ready economic first few moves. And then after that, is you change your build, you either do two more barracks to make it a three rack build, or you do the 1-1-1 one, 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 as Husky likes to call it, Destiny Cloud Fist build. Oh my god, I feel horrible that I can't remember that. Either way, he has an awesome name for it. Uh, go check it out if you haven't already, because, yeah, it's just awesome. It's way better than calling it the 1-1-1 one, one, one build. Come on, who thought of that lame name? <laughs> Someone with no imagination. But anyways, uh, What's I'm going, going to stop talking because I could ramble on forever about completely useless stuff. Huh? So there you go. That is the three racks build with all just getting out of Marine Marauder Army and then teching up.